one is to cook the fish. This is cook this fish for 20 minutes. And um, when you take the when you cook it for 20 minutes, take it out, then take it out, take the fish out and take all the fish out of the bones. And if you want, you can use the stock of the fish to cook the to, to cook the yam. That's step one. I'll show you to step two. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm gonna introduce what I'm gonna to cook today. It's yam porridge. I got yam here, and I got my herb seasoning. I got uh, the oil, which is olive oil, and I got my spicy homemade, my homemade spicy uh, scot bonnet. This is uh, red pepper. That's red pepper, and that's tomato, and that's onion, and um, which is my spicy homemade. Yeah, you can buy if you want to. When you uh, you can order for it. Uh, this is uh, Maggie that I'm going to use, and then use a little bit of tomato puree as well. So, and I'm going to use Ugo. So all this, all this thing, I'm going to. I'm not going to use all of it. I could, could use like. Uh, 30 gram of red pepper, uh, 10 gram of onion, 30 gram. I'll, I'll put, I'll give, put the recipe there for you. Then it, I use, it, 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 it depends on how you want to use it. That's why when you have this product, you can, put, you can use more red pepper than chili pepper, than onion. You can mix them up the way you want it. It doesn't really matter that you have to you have to you say you want to use it use them equally so that is why it's good and you can keep them it's not gonna spoil you can keep them to use it to cook something else when you when you want to cook some uh, when you want to cook uh, your food please thank you stay tuned i'll be right back step three is to add the, add the water into the yam. I don't want it too much water, just above the, uh, above, uh, just not too much water. Add the salt into it. Then I cover it up. Then I put the, I'm gonna put the gas on now. Yeah, I'm gonna put the gas on now. Yeah, you can see the gas is on. And put it to the high. Yeah, eight. That's okay. Oh yeah, gas is on now. Set three. Just for me to chop my. So two is for me to chop my hugu. I wash it already, as you can see, the hugu is wash. Wash. It's wash. Step three. Try to do it like this. Don't forget to don't forget to go on my website. Check what is on my website. And um, if you have a wedding, you can do cakes, different kind of cakes. If you have a birthday party, you can do the birthday party. It's, I believe we are just getting to the winter now we are not getting into uh, the summer is nearly gone now and um, then there's no more barbecue so then what's left in this christmas is coming now so 
we're looking forward to the Christmas by the grace of God so we can we can just we, are, we do perfect perfect cooking with a perfect chef if you want to do something at home then you have we have different it's not only me that I've got many chefs the many professional chefs that is gonna cook for you if you want your perfect chef so we do the wedding birthday party gathering name what you want we do the dessert we do the cakes name what you want just get into my website you can get my website from my youtube channel i'm gonna put it there from my two my two episodes is gonna be my website is ready it's only for me to put on my youtube channel now and go on my facebook go on my instagram so so that I will, I will let the yam boil, boil. Once the yam is boiled and cooked, then I'll show you step four. Step two is to peel the yam. Step two is to peel the yam. that yam chop them into pieces you put them put them in the pot and then wash it so yam is about to it's about to spoil but I think it's still okay nothing wrong with it but just a spot a bit so I'm gonna take all that top spot out. Yeah. Happy yeah. again. That's step, that's step two. Okay. I'm gonna do all this yam because if I didn't do this, it's gonna spoil. So I'm gonna have to do all of all the yam. Yeah. It doesn't matter that you can cut it the way I cut. You can cut it the way you want. Doesn't really matter. So okay. Now cut it this way. You might love to cut it the way you want it to cut. Um, I hope everybody is keeping safe. I hope everything is all right. It's a bit hard now. I believe that uh, by the grace of God, we will get over it. Everything will be all right. By the grace of God. That's it. Uh, I'm going to this. Too hot. Okay. Then I'm gonna wash this uh, this yam now. That's step two. Step four is to take the uh, bones out of the fish. As you can see, all those the fish that are just cooked. The, I've take the fish out of the bones now, sorry. Step five is to check if the if the yam is nearly ready. Yeah, now yam is nearly ready now. Also what I'm gonna do is to 
take care of the heat, strain it. And put it back again. Then, then I'm gonna have my stock. This is my fish stock. Yeah. I think my fish stock, the reason why I want to use my fish stock is I want Step six is to add the rest of the ingredients into into it, and this time I'm gonna add a little bit of tomato. I'm not gonna use that much of fresh tomato. I'm gonna use that much. See, look at it, my products. <laughs> 